What's up, you guys? It is your girl, A Holiday, and I am back with another video. And as you can already tell, my eyebrows is already done. My face is clear, and I'm not going to take up too much of your time. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Now, I'm going to start off with my Smashbox to prime my face. I am very oily, so yes, I do use primer, ladies. I do use primer. And I'm just basically going to put it everywhere where I'm very oily at. And then, of course, I'll rub it in. Sometimes I pat it in. It really doesn't matter. But just don't rub it in too hard. Always be gentle with your primer. Now we're going to start on the eyes and I actually got this subculture palette and it is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I found it at Marshalls and it was only $24.99. This is what the colors look like. So definitely go check out your local Marshalls to see if they have this palette and honey yes be sure to pick it up. Even if it's not for you give it to someone else. Now I'm going to start off by priming my eyes and I'm going to use my Tarte concealer and we're just going to dab a little bit of that on the eyelid and then we're gonna rub it in. Now to our palette with using our transition color, we're going to use the color fudge and we're just gonna put this on the outer crease and we're gonna bring it in a little and then we're gonna start blending that good because you don't want it to be too dark, you kinda want it to be light. Um, the darker you leave it, the more darker effect you're going to get. And we're not really going for that kind of effect. So we're going to make sure we smoke it out and blend it very well so it doesn't look too dark. Now we're going to take my MAC eyeshadow and we're going to basically put this on the eyelid. Now in this video, you're going to be able to see where I didn't like how these two colors were mixing together. And it wasn't kind of doing nothing for my eye. So I'm actually going to go back in with another color, but I just wanted to show you the base of what I did put on the eyelid. And this eyeshadow is from MAC. I will list all of the products used in the description box below. Okay, now right here, you definitely can tell like I was not into the look. It was definitely needing something else. So I know you guys are going to be so mad. But again, make sure you check the description box below because I'm going to link the color that I did use on my eyelid. Unfortunately, I don't remember the name of it. But it was, of course, in the subculture palette, again, from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So definitely check the description box below for the color of the eyelid. And as you can see, I did use my MAC Fix plus and I basically sprayed my brush to intensify this gold color that I am now putting on top of my eyelid and as you can see as I'm putting this on my eyelid I am not taking it all the way to the end of my eyelid I'm actually stopping in the middle of my eyelid Okay, so now what I'm doing is alternating between the eyelid and the outer crease and make sure that both parts are blending right and looking right and make sure that the outer crease is not overshadowing the gold because you kind of want it to blend and not overshadow. Now we're going to take this foundation. I am using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation. And ladies, I can definitely say I'm loving it. Like for $14.99, found at your local Ulta Beauty or online. It is the best foundation, I swear. If you are oily, you are going to love this foundation, ladies. Definitely go pick up a bottle. I'm not sponsored. This was not sent to me. Like I paid my own money for it. Just go get it. So now we're going to apply our foundation with our Real Techniques Beauty Blender. And we're just going to make sure that we get all of it. Now this foundation do dry fast so you do have to work a little faster than usual. Um, but you do want to make sure that you get every spot on your face. Make sure you hit that neck also. Now it's time to contour the face and I'm sure this is probably your favorite part but I'm going to use the Tarte Concealer and I'm going to put this under my eyes along the nose bridge of my nose and on my chin. 
and yeah you don't really need a lock with this to be honest um it's kind of not thick and it's not thin it's like in between so a little does go the long way with this concealer if you are thinking about using it okay now it's time to blend this out now i'm pretty sure if you did not catch that i did wet my beauty blender with some mac fix plus spray and i'm going to now start blending everything out and this may take a while ladies so to be honest i'm going to fast forward this part up because this is probably the longest part ever other than doing your eyebrows All right, now we're going to take our Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. And we're basically going to go ahead and start with our nose. Now, my nose is kind of wide, so, you know, we're going to try to snatch this thing up, honey. We're going to snatch it up. Then we're going to hit the sides. Now, I have high cheekbones, so I honestly don't have to go very low, so I kind of already stay high. Let's go ahead and reveal the secret. If you cannot already tell by looking at the video, a top secret to making your nose snatch is blending it in with your eyeshadow. I'm not sure if you guys are noticing that, but I'm definitely going all the way in towards my eyeshadow when I'm blending it. And now we're then going to go ahead and blend out the cheeks on both sides. And I'm actually moving in the upward motion, not downward. So I'm moving upward. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to the forehead. Now the forehead is if you want to make your forehead to appear to be smaller. So you can go the extra mile by putting a lot. Or if you don't want to do that, then you can just put a little. But basically that is what that for is if you want to expand your forehead or if you wanted to make it look smaller. It's time to set your contour. So what I'm using is the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this under both of my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on my chin, and a little on my forehead. You want to make sure that you also set your contour as well. So as you can tell right here, I'm setting my nose and then I will work my way to my cheeks to also set my cheeks. And the reason why you're setting your contour is because after using so much cream, if you're an oily person like me, you want to make sure that it's going to be intact and in place and it's not going to move when you start sweating. So that is the reason why you use the setting powder to set your face. Okay, here is another secret, you guys. This is a bit secret. A lot of people do not do this. But putting setting powder under your contour at the bottom is what really makes your face look snatch. So my personal preference is not letting my setting powder sit for too long. So as you can see, I'm already dusting it off. Um, I just don't do it because I don't like looking cakey whether it's on camera or in person so this is why I don't let it sit on my face for too long and then I am going to go ahead and go back over my contour just so I can brighten my face back up if it is too light in certain areas or if I want to make something look a little extra snatch now I'm about to spray my face with some MAC Fix Plus Matte and the reason why I brought the matte is because again I am oily so I wanted to see do it really work is there really a difference and so far so good to be honest I'm really loving it so yeah and then as you can see I'm patting that in my face because that is how I get everything to blend so nicely so spraying your face with some MAC Fix Plus and then patting it in is what really makes everything blend ladies and now we're going to use my favorite fall blush, which is Raisin by MAC. And I promise you guys, I bring this out every fall. Like, it's the best. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply this to both sides of my cheeks to give me some color on the cheeks. And then we're going to go ahead and pull out that glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And we're just going to go ahead and apply that on both sides of the cheeks as well. Because, again, this is a glam look, so without the highlight. How could it be glam? 
So now what I'm about to do is actually smoke out my bottom line under my eyeliner. And we're doing this so it actually brings out your eyes. So if you don't know why people do this, it actually does. So if you have small eyes or if you have chinky eyes, then this is definitely something good for you to do because it actually makes your eyes pop out more. Now it's time for the eyeliner. And to be honest, you guys, I'm not that very good at doing a wing liner. So usually I always just line my eyes. I try not to do a wing liner because I'm not that good at it. So as you can see, I'm just lining my eye. And I do get a little bigger as I go towards my eyelashes. But I do try to start off thin towards the beginning of my eye. So here's the look so far, but wait, we're not done yet. Of course, we have to go in with our favorite, favorite, favorite mascara, Better Than Sex, and then our L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara as well. And we're going to go ahead and apply both of those to our lashes, and we're going to also make sure we hit our bottom lashes as well, ladies. Now, the last and final step is definitely your lips. Now, what's a look without a lips? <laughs> nothing so now i am using color pop mac lipsticks and i don't remember the color but again i will list it below so make sure you again check that description box below for both of the colors i lined my lips with one color and then i actually filled it in with another color and that is how i got the original color that i have which is more like a wine Before you leave, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, leave comments. I want to be interactive with you guys. I want to know what you guys want to see. I want to know what you like and what you don't like.